From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a huge night for July 14th, 2022, as new data came out today, and it was not particularly good. Yesterday, the CPI surged to 9.1%, and today, the PPI number came out as well. That shows us we're deeply in a recession. An earnings recession manifested itself today as well, as Morgan Stanley and, and J.P. Morgan Chase reported corporate earnings and major misses today across the board. But the big story I want to focus on tonight is your forced to most check in every U.S. state. You deserve this money. We're going to go over all these incredible sums of money. It's about $100,000 in every U.S. state. Done by executive order from Joseph Biden early this year. We're going to go over all those incredible sums of money. What do you do? You go right on this video and become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Casino VIP. And you stay late as a recording as we go over all these incredible sums of money. Plus, your benefits are going up about $5,000 approximately based upon what inflation is doing tonight. I'll have the latest details on that. And the Build Back Better Act would give you additional checks. Boy, you got to get these four stimulus checks across the board. They're federal stimulus. Go on to this video, become a member. But let's turn back to the other breaking news tonight that we're working on in this big broadcast over this one hour broadcast. Unemployment surged out of control in the latest number released by the Department of Labor this morning. 244 thousand in new jobless claims out of control then the ppi number came in as well out of control we had new guidance today from fed governor waller and what did he say about this inflation what did he say about this economy i'll be looking at that details in tonight's recording as well plus we'll be looking back at what the president said about inflation and what he's dealing with that as well and we'll be looking at the build back better act that would give you additional sums of money in tonight's recording lots of money first the one hundred thousand dollars across the board then the incredible monies of your benefits going up a lot about five thousand dollars and then the build back better act with eighty thousand dollars of checks on top of that oh we're doing really well tonight stay at the very end we have a lot of money to go over it's america's most watched show for financial news in prime time and get ready for the launch of the new lla2 and la3 in less than seven days it all starts right now And good evening, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful night. It is gorgeous here along the coast, although a little bit hot, hopefully, close by, down by the end of tonight. The unemployment numbers today were released, and it's not good, nor was the PPI number released this morning. We'll have the latest details on that as well. Fed Governor Waller speaking about whether the Fed would do a one basis point increase. I'll have that details as well. And then the corporate earnings coming in across the board. It's a big broadcast tonight. And we're going to go over all this incredible news and your big monies of checks, approximately $188,000 of them, in tonight's recording. And we start right now. The day started with the new number from the Department of Labor. How many unemployed people were going on unemployment benefits for the first time last week? The history of the number is very important. Been with this channel since it launched on April 25th, 2020. It was about 200,000 before we started the pandemic. Then when we came out of the pandemic, it hovered around 188. That's where it should be right today, but it's not. About four weeks ago, it surged dramatically to 200,000. At the time, I said, that's not a good number, but I projected to go to 230. It did. Three consecutive weeks until last week when I projected 230 again, it went to 235. That's 235,000 new unemployed people that were not in this economy the week before. Now, in the last seven days, I told you that a lot of analysts kept on saying it's a strong labor market, even though there's 235,000 new unemployed people every week that's new from the week before. Well, I also said in the last seven days, if we got to 240,000, that's likely when the markets would get spooked. What happened today? 
We got to 240,000. 244,000 new jobless claims was the number released by the Department of Labor this morning. And folks, you see the dramatic increase. Nearly 40,000 in less than four weeks. That's where we started the day. We continue the day with the producer price index number released rightly right after sunrise, and it showed that inflation continues to be hot. The producer price index gauges wholesale inflation, and it's always released consecutively with the CPI, the consumer price index number, released yesterday. It was no less than a year ago that Americans would probably not know what the CPI even is, let alone know, even track it. Now it remains the number one story in the American broadcast news, the CPI. And what happened with that CPI yesterday that manifests itself today again with the PPI? It surged out of control. Yesterday, the CPI was released for the month of June 2022, and that CPI surged to a massive 89.1% from the month of May at 8.6%. It was projected for June to be only 8.8. .8. It came in at 9.1. This number was raised dramatically because of rising gasoline, fuel, and also your food. Now, it does have a great benefit by raising your benefits, and your benefits could potentially be going up as much as $5,000 more per year. We'll be going over all that data in just a second. Today, we had the PPI number release, and that PPI number was just about as bad as the CPI the day before. Let's go over the data starting right now. We started the day with the producer price index number rising 11.3% year to date for the month of June 2022. And this is the second highest number we've seen in recorded history since March of 2021, which was a record 11.6%. Excluding food and energy and core, the core PPI was up 6.4%. The monthly gain was below, uh, was right on the money. Here's what's at issue is that inflation has not eased down. It continues to not ease down. Now, we also had a major series of other reports that came in right after the PPI and also the unemployment. And what were they? The corporate earnings. We want to start to see if businesses are losing their shirts because of the start of the recession and their ability to pivot or not pivot. And let's look and see what happened with their announcements today as well. Their announcements today were not good. And their announcements involved the following. The corporate earnings for Morgan Stanley and J.P. Morgan's Chase came in, and they were blowout horrible numbers. J.P. Morgan earnings were report released this morning, and they the bank's shares fell 5% right as the news was released. Why? Because the numbers were so bad. J.P. Morgan Diamond, the J, uh, J.P. Morgan's numbers were represented. A basically a 52-week low on the stock and showed that profits declined 28% in one year. That's astronomical, down nearly from its nearly its, 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 its numbers of a year ago. It's just not looking good. And if you think it was just J.P. Morgan, then let me look to Morgan Stanley. Morgan Stanley reported corporate earnings today as well, and they were horrific. Their stocks was down about 1% and basically hitting a now 52-week low. Profits at down at that bank, 29%. 29%. Uh, it's, just, it's just horrible. These are massive earnings recessions for corporate America. Now, are these companies giving correct, accurate, on-point guidance about this economy? I'll let you decide. Jamie Dimon, head of J.P. Morgan Chase, today said the U.S. economy continues to grow. True. Not true. We're in a recession. We've now posted two negative quarters of GDP growth, so I don't know what he's talking about. And he says both the job market and the spending and the ability to spend remain healthy. 244,000 new jobless claims this week, released minutes before his statement, which is up from 200,000 three weeks before, which is up for 182,000. Does that remain healthy? It does not remain healthy. It makes you wonder why their profits are down 28% at J.P. Morgan Chase. Now, when you look at Morgan Stanley, they said overall the firm had a solid quarter. A solid, solid quarter. Investment management revenues were down 17%. They lost one point, they were down $1.41 billion in one quarter. <laughs> a little bit too much rose colored glasses. I'll let you decide. It prompted news to do exactly what I would do, which is ask the Federal Reserve, you know what? These CPI numbers are horrible. 
this PPI number today is horrible. Are you raising interest rates at that July FOMC meeting on June 26 and 27 more than three quarters? Well, the question was posed to Fed Governor Waller, Christopher Waller today. This is breaking news also. And he said that he still supports a three quarters basis point, but it depends on the data. We have we have retail sales and housing data coming in in the July meetings. We're looking at that data as well. If the data materially stronger than expected, then we would need to lean towards a different policy. Is that comment make any sense either? Not really. Let's take a step back in the month of May when the inflation number was too hot. The May CPI read immediately the Federal Reserve went from a half basis point narrative to a three quarter basis point narrative in less than seven days. In fact, Jay Powell admitted they did. And tonight, what do we have tonight? We have the CPI released yesterday, 9.1, when many analysts think it was going to be much dramatically weaker. And we have less than seven days away, approximately well, July 26, to that FOMC meeting. What is Wall Street saying? 80% of Wall Street analysts agree with me. They all, 80% of them say full 100 basis point increase is coming on July 26 and 27. That's what I believe is going to happen. Now, what about uh, Wallace's comment? He's looking to see if there's any data that's stronger than expected that would signal that maybe they have to do something different. And he points to housing. Is housing going to have great data? Or is housing going to show that the economy is a great situation? No. The housing numbers for the month of May were released a few weeks ago, and they were down. Housing starts, which is new home builders, down 14%, and permits were down 7%. So the housing market's not doing better. The housing market's doing worse, which would support less of an increase for that uh, FOMC meeting. So the comments don't make a lot of sense across the board. Here's what you need to know. There is something that is really good for this, for you and all this data, and that is your benefits. If you are on Social Security, regular Social Security, SSI, SSDI, Veterans Benefits, RB, you've been watching this channel for two years. You know what we've gone through. We started with Liz Warren trying to swap COLA for inflation, trying to give you $300 more per month. We talked about it as SS300. We had Joe Biden adopting it as a campaign promise, but not doing it. Then we had Congress saying they were going to do his fist stimulus. Then we had the Purple Power community, this community, trying to advocate for Biden to swap COLA for inflation because inflation tracks higher. Well, it all got really good about four weeks ago. What happened four weeks ago? When the Social Security chief actuary, Steve Goss, looked at the May CPI number and looked at that May CPI number and said it was really high. Based upon that high May CPI number, I'm projecting your benefits are going to go up 8%. Well, that's exactly what we always wanted, SS300, baby, raising your benefits up $300, uh, $300 more per month, not just one month, but a lifetime. But at the time, when Goss said that, I said, I think it's going to go up 9%. Tonight, my viewers, you, the members of this community, all are seeing the articles. You're all seeing the articles that are talking about maybe benefits are going up 10%, maybe 11%. Why is this getting better by the minute? And how much is this money? We're looking at potentially $5,000 more per year. Lifetime. First, let me explain how this works. If this number is raised up, your benefits are raised up, not just that month, not just that year, but lifetime, even if they get inflation down later at a later date. So you want this raise to happen when situations are not good. Remember, we always talk about getting locked in when situations are not good, when these numbers for CPI are really high and inflation are high. You want them locked in now before they go down. They haven't gone down, so you're good so far. Second, they're still tracking higher. And in fact, they're tracking, as you saw with that CPI we just went over, higher in the month of June than the month of May. So which months do we want it high enough? We want it high enough for the month of July, which are currently in right now, August and September. Those three months are released a month later, and those three months determine how much your benefits go up. In my reporting, I can really safely say that the month of July, which you're in right now, the month of August and the month of September will give you the biggest lift to your benefits of a generation. I don't see this ever happening again. We don't usually see inflation at these levels uh, on a regular basis. So you're not going to see these type of inflation levels ever again for another generation. This is where your benefits would be lifted up 
and you would be locked into your for the, your entire existence on planet Earth. This is great news. How much more money? It looks like it potentially could be five thousand dollars. Now let me go over why this is so important in July, August, and September. It's pretty simple, but let me tell you why. Your benefits are determined based upon the monet based upon the economic numbers that were released for the month of July, August, and September. What number is it? It's called the CPI-W. It's not so important that you know what it's called. It's just what month. If inflation continues to stay high this month and in August and in September, then your benefits will go up more than Social Security was projecting based upon the May number. In May, they thought, well, that's probably about as high as inflation is going to go. I didn't think it was. I thought inflation is going higher because gasoline is tracking higher. Cost of goods is going higher. I was right. Now, we already know the CPI released yesterday. Inflation is going higher. We already had the PPI early in this recording. Your benefits are going higher. How much higher? Well, you and I need to watch the July, August, and September numbers. Why? Because those three numbers for the CPI-W, subsection CPI, determine how much your benefits go up for the next year. It's those three months, just July, August, and September, determine how much your benefits go up for the next three years. Now, this gets really interesting. Why? July, August, and September, guess who's not around? <laughs> Congress, well, yeah, you know, they're always on vacation. Uh, Jay Powell, yes, he's not around. Jay Powell and the Federal Reserve have a July, August, July 26, 27 meeting, and then they're off in August. They're back on September about 26, 27. So by then, all the lift of inflation has happened. So it's looking really good. We have a lot of money in this recording. Look how good we're doing so far. We're only about 15 minutes in this recording. Stay the very end. We have that $5,000 approximately that your benefits are going to go up. Then we also have these monstrous $100,000 of four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. Let's go over these incredible checks right now. First, have you become a member? Do it right now. Become a member. Go under this video, Purple Hawk, Purple Power Calcino VIP. Join this channel. This is the channel that is making history. This is a channel that made history since day one and is really on board to do it again. Why? Because this channel is expanding with three cha new channels coming shortly. And those new channels will give you more insight on how to get money across the board. These sums of money are incredible. But $100,000 is really incredible. Let's go over the details of it. It's approximately $100,000 done by executive action from Joseph Biden. Yes, past the month of March. This is not Congress. This is the president. And you qualify. Single individual, $75,000 or less. Married couple, $150,000 less. If you rent, if you own, if you have children, if you don't have children, if you're on benefits, SSI or SSDI, how do you get these sums of money? You go under this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Join this channel right now and get that incredible newsletter to get these massive sums of money. Go right on this video right now and become a member and get those sums of money. You deserve them and get that financial freedom from this channel. We'll be going over more about this money in just a second. But when we look at the earnings recession underway, it's deeply troubling. And the earnings recession signals that a full recession is underway. A recession first indicated from this channel in February this year. Continuing no less than two weeks ago when we got the announcement from uh, Steve from uh, Atlanta and the official announcement coming on July 21. It's a day like this that you have to sit back and say, what are you talking about with us? <laughs> <laughs> Remember on different strokes uh, when when um, when Gary Coleman's character didn't really understand what was being sent. He said, "What are you talking about, Willis?" So when you look at some of the data that came in today, some of the comments, look some of the quotes, you sort of wonder what's going on here. Are we in an altered universe? First of all, when you look at that PPI number, the C, the PPI, which is the, the another inflation number we released this morning, analysts were quick to try to find something in the PPI number, which is inflation. 11.3% up for year to date, near a record high of 11.6. What do they immediately try to do? Try to find something good in the number. Uh, why? <laughs> the number's bad. I mean, the number's bad. Just sort of leave it bad and just sort of move on. Then we had um, the Department of Labor announcing new jobless weekly claims um, to 244,000 for the week ending July 9th. How high is this number? It's the highest number of the year. It's the worst Number, it's the highest number for weekly jobless claims. These are new jobless claims uh, since November 20th, 2021. It's the worst number of the year. 
Uh, and this is now uh, showing that um, continuing unemployment claims are 1.33 million. And yet you have Jamie Dimon, whose company reported profits down 28% in one quarter, announcing that we have a healthy labor market. A healthy labor market? <laughs> you see the worst labor numbers of 2021. How is that healthy? Who is the first to tell you is going to be a bad number? Now, I was wrong in which I thought 244,000 was going to spook the Wall Street and basically wake them up to say it's not healthy. But yet again, they're still saying it's healthy. It's not healthy. And then we had Morgan Stanley saying overall the firm delivered a solid quarter. Solid quarter when your revenues fell 17% uh, to $1.41 billion from last year. Uh, and the stock was down 24% through Wednesday, which is uh, worse than 19% of the bank index. Uh, Governor Waller is speaking about this as well today. He said the following. He says he needs a little bit more data. <laughs> more data. How many cappuccinos were sold yesterday? <laughs> how many lobster shorts are in demand? Uh, how many San Francisco hairstyles are people getting in? How many times are you going to wave at the wave of the check? <laughs> Once. Yeah, how much more data does Waller need? My base case for the July FOMC meeting depends on incoming data. Uh, it's July 14th. <laughs> it's July 14th. It's only 12 days away. I think you've had enough data. Uh, you know, you need to go low, low data, <laughs> low carb, low data. Uh, we have imp important data being released on retail sales and housing coming in before the July meeting. You do. Uh, is, the, is the housing data going to be Good? No. Is the retail going to be good? No. If the data comes in materially stronger than expected, it's not, then we expect to lean towards a higher rake at the July meeting. Now, this is where that gets really confusing. Let's say that again. He's worried that people are spending a fortune on buying homes and that if that data comes in really strong for homes, then it may warrant a full 100 basis point increase, not three quarters, not 75 basis point. Well, guess what? The housing data is going to be horrible. The housing data is not going to be good. So does that mean he's not going to do 100 basis point? Folks, you know this is not true. This is just, this is a base of answering of questions. Waller knows, and you know, that when the May inflation number was released, it was no less than seven days before the Federal Reserve pivoted from half to three quarters. It literally was, I think it was two days. I, I remember being on camera and I was like, wait, they just changed it? They're changing more often than someone changes their San Francisco hairstyle. It was just changing really dramatically. <laughs> What's going on? That's why 80% of Wall Street believes that it's going to be a full 100 basis point increase. Now, the President of the United States addressed the situation about inflation yesterday. And yesterday I had on air his comments when he said that inflation is his top priority. I did not have his complete comments then. I'll have that later in this recording. But the great news is that I have big stimulus checks for you. You're not going to wait to get these stimulus checks. You're going to go right on this video and become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Casino VIP. Let's go over these incredible checks right now so you understand how they work, what's at issue, and why they're so important to get. First, what's important to understand is you need the money right now. This economy is slowing very quickly. Unemployment is surging. Corporate earnings are down, inflation's higher, and recession is already arrived. That's why you want to get these. Number two, we're going into a financial cliff. You'll survive the financial cliff if you beef up your savings. You do that by increasing the amount of money you have on hand. Longtime viewer Terry was in the live chat last night. He said, L.A., thank you for that guidance. Terry, Terry Rose was in the live chat last night. He said, L.A., yes, thank you for your guidance. I've been telling people to remove their ARDs. What are their ARDs? Adjustable rate debts. That is car loans, credit card debt, where it's dependent upon the existing interest rate. I've already told you what Jay Powell is going to do on July 26. He's going to raise it one full basis point. So whatever debt you have now is going to be worth, is going to be much more expensive after that announcement. You don't wait to that. You get as much stimulus as you can, you raise your savings, and you remove your adjustable rate debt. In, the, in recession is likely because gasoline prices are going to stay high, CPI is going to stay high, and Fed rates are going to go higher as well. This is a graphic from about 30 days ago. <laughs> it says in the next 90 days, unemployment is going to go higher. Got it right. Interest rates are going to go higher. Got it right. Gasoline prices are going to go higher. Well, that's come down because of the traders. We'll be going over gasoline later as a Gordon. But there's phases of the economy, and some of the phases are manifesting themselves earlier than initially thought. 
We thought a recession was coming in January 2024. It's already in phase one now. We thought that a financial cliff is coming in September. Well, it still is in September in my projections, but you don't want to roll the dice across the board. You want to get these incredible checks. So let's go over these big checks right now. These fourth stimulus checks were done by executive action in March. A fourth stimulus check in every U.S. state is available for you and your family right tonight. Go get it. It's approximately $100,000. It's astronomically wonderful. And yes, this was done by the president, not done by Congress, not by the Senate, done by executive action, passed in the month of March. So viewers have been getting it ever since. They've been getting cleaning up about $100,000. But you qualify. Do not wait to get this money. Single, married, with children, without children, on benefits, not on benefits, SSI, SSDI, go get this money, go under this video, become a member. Join in this channel right now and get that membership signed up so you get this financial freedom. Go right in this video and become a member. And in the second half of this video, we'll be going over all these incredible checks one at a time. Now, as a member, you also now get the free add-on of the incredible L8 worksheets. The L8 worksheets are in the membership newsletter as well, Monday through Friday. And those L8 worksheets have been the big hit for viewers. Viewers are adoring it. Why? Because it really helps you track your stimulus. Let's look at those L8 worksheets. They're free for members. They're in the newsletter, the first, third, or fourth line of the newsletter, Monday through Friday. And here they are. You print them out on your uh, from your phone, your computer, or you just take notes on a separate piece of paper. What do we know about line, the first page tonight? Inflation. Inflation's tracking higher. It has not yet peaked. Recession. We're already underway. The official announcement coming in July 21. Labor. 244,000 new jobless claims announced today. Look how these numbers are just so up to date. So you should be updating the piece of paper with the CPI of 9.1% from yesterday, the PPI higher tonight, um, and then the recession already underway, but coming with the confirmation of July 21, and you should have those unemployment claims written down of 244,000. Why? Because you need to remember just generally how much worse it is than before. 244 is up from just 200 four weeks ago. Federal Reserve, July 26, 27, write it down. You need to watch that because that's a day to watch this channel, especially because you're going to watch this channel every single day. But that's the day that we hear that July FOMC meeting announcement. Page two of the incredible worksheets has the table where you keep notes of the months you got paid for stimulus, how much it got paid, who paid you, and keep track of it because you're going to go back and get more money. Remember, you can get other monies from other organizations, other places. That's why I have lots of different places where you get the sums of money. There's a lot of different checks for you to get as a member nearly 20 of them, 20 different places. And that's why you want to keep track of the date paid, how much you were paid, the date you applied, who is your contact. Fifth stimulus, the third page, how much your benefits are going to go up. Did you take notes on what we learned early in this video? Tonight we learned that we're waiting to uh, a tooth and nail for the July, August, and September CPI, which is released a month later, to see if it's going to be as high as it was for the month of June, which we got yesterday. If it is, your benefits could be going up $5,000 more per month, uh, per year. And then we have six stimulus, gasoline, which we're going to go over later in this recording. And, this, and the last page is seven stimulus student loan debt forgiveness. The president's about to announce a $10,000 forgiveness for individuals who make $150,000 or less. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over all these incredible checks for you to get. Now that you know what it is, become a member. Go under this video and become a member. And the second half of this video, we're going to go over these incredible checks. And for the first time ever, you're going to see a glimpse of the newsletter actually in prime time. We're going to go over the newsletter together as a family. So it makes it even simpler for you to understand how to go get these sums of money. Go under this video, become a member. And in the second half, we're going to go over that. Plus, we'll be going over the president's comments about the recession and about inflation yesterday and the week before. And we'll go over what you should project and expect in the next few days between now and that July FOMC meeting. Boy, we have a lot going on in the big second half. But first, here's a little bit about the community page. I'll see you back in 60 seconds. As America's Most Watched Show in Prime Time continues, it's evenings. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. 
They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the big second half of the evening's LA continues right now for a gorgeous night of July 14th, 2022. And other people looking gorgeous as well. You're looking gorgeous. How are you doing? Earnings recession underway, CPI surging out of control, U.S. recession underway. You got to get these four summers checks in every U.S. day. Did you become a member during the commercial break? I hope you did. Go right on this video and become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casting your VIP. And we're going to go over all these incredible checks starting right now. First thing you need to remember is that these checks are just a lot of money. No other time in the history of this channel have we ever had so much money. It took a lot of effort for me to find these checks. They're not checks you're going to just find on the, <laughs> the street corner. And these are astronomical. Back in the month of March, viewers said, Ellie, can you find us and force some of those checks because they haven't gotten the Build Back Better Act done? And I did. Viewers understood to get money when money is available. And I got it for you. The great news is the money is still available today. We don't know how long it's going to be available, so you become a member right now. Get the money right now when it's around. Number two, it's a lot of money. It's $100,000 approximately. Build That Better Act is never going to pay you that types of money. Build That Better Act is about fifty dollars to $80,000. Number three, you qualify. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, if you make $150,000 less, go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you're on benefits, not on benefits, if you're on SSI or SSDI, go get it. And finally... Do it right now and continue to do it. You need to get some money today and continue to get it. Let's go over all the incredible sums of money with a new insight into the newsletter starting right now. We're going to go over each of these checks one at a time, take notes, and let's get all these incredible sums of money. The first check is a wonderful check A. That first wonderful check is check A. And that is one of these many, many four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. You go right under this video and become a member. And then when you get that membership newsletter, you get check A. Let's go over check A. It's a $6,500 to $12,000 for a check in every U.S. state. It's called the Homeowners Weatherizing Grant Check. How do you get this wonderful check A? You know the routine. First, become a member. Then go down the membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alerts and go to where it says check A. Click the link and you go right in to apply. Go right in apply, and it sends you to the nationwide website. You choose your state, and you pounce for the weatherizing grant, $6,500 to $12,000. You're not stopping there yet. Get check B, fifteen dollars to $80,000, four stimulus check in every U.S. state. It's huge. It's absolutely wonderful. And viewers are tracking about $80,000 on this one. How do you get this one as well? You know the routine. Step one, go into this video, subscribe. Then go down to where it says join the channel. Join the channel. Become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power Calcino VIP member. Then get the membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And go down to where it says check B in the membership newsletter. When you see check B, you click the link and go right in and pounce. You go right in and pounce. For that wonderful check B, send you into the nationwide website, choose your state, and you're ready to rock and roll. Look how we've done so well in just seconds. Check A, about $12,000. Check B, about $80,000. There's $100,000 right there, but we're not done there yet. We're going to go get check C. It is a monthly stimulus check on average, $2,000 over 12 months. Many viewers are tracking on an average of $45,000 and a lot have gotten over $100,000. These are astronomical checks. How do you get this? 
become a member. Subscribe to this channel, one, become a member, two, and then get that membership newsletter. Go down to where it says check A, excuse me, check C. <laughs> It'll tell you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. Check C has been paid out to viewers of this channel for a long time. This channel has gotten people $50 million since it launched in April of 2020, much of me, March of 2020. But let's look at the success stories that Check C has delivered. Do you want these sums of money for rent? Well, go get Check C. This is what viewers have got for Check C. Twenty dollars to $30,000, $5,000 to $15,000 for utilities. What else have they gotten for Check C? They've gotten the wonderful Snap, because a lot of viewers were not on Snap until they found this channel, like Mark's brother-in-law is getting $25,000 a year, over 10 years, a quarter million dollars, and then combinations. You want to get one check, get more checks, and keep on getting checks. Nisi went from $23,000 to $50,000. Mark went $32,000 to nearly $166,000. And Lorraine went from one hundred five dollars to one fifty. dollars Here's Mark. He was a thirty-two. Then Mark heard me say, go on air, on air, say, go get these other sums of money. He did. He went from thirty-two to fifty. Then he went from thirty from fifty to one hundred, and then got check B at one sixty-six. That was sixty-six thousand for check B. Lorraine, she was at one hundred five. Now she's at one fifty. What we learn from viewers who learn from me is the following: You gotta keep on going back and getting money. Keep on getting money. Watch the videos throughout the day. Do not miss a video throughout the day. There's so much breaking news. The shows do not overlap. And then spend the rest of the day getting money. You're going to have some rejections. You're going to have about 50% rejection rate, but you're also going to have about 50% approval rate. And you don't make one phone call. You make lots of phone calls. For the case of Check C, for example, there's about 20 plus places in the newsletter that tells you where to call. So if one place pays you 800, you don't stop there yet, you go to the next place. If one place says no, you don't stop there yet, you go to the next place as well. Let's recap what you need to do. First, go into this video, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button right now. Then go into this video, hit the join the channel. Join the channel button, become a Purple Hawk, Pearl Power, Calcino VIP member. Then get that membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alerts. Go right down in and pounce and get the money. And for the first time ever, in prime time, I'm going to show you the newsletter on air. We're going to do it together. We're going to go through getting checks together for the first time ever on this channel. You ready? Let's do it. Here we go. The LA newsletter in prime time. Here is the LA newsletter delivered 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time via the YouTube alert system. So make sure you know what time zone you're in. If you're not West Coast, then know what time zone you're in. 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern. You'll get an alert. You see the time of this alert? 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Here's the alert. This is what the alert looks like. It says, for members only, new LA posts from YouTube. It's an alert. It says YouTube alert. Here's what the YouTube alert looks like. All right, let's continue. The, the video is going to show you uh, going down in the alert. What we need to do is go down in the alert. So we go down in the alert. You see the guy with the surfboard. Go lower on the alert and... Down below him, there's a button that says click here to go into the post. You click it and you go into the post, and there you go. You are into the newsletter, and you are done. There is the newsletter, baby. Just so incredible, and that is the L8 alert. You want to do it again? Let's do it again. That was fun. <laughs> I just love that. Uh, here is the L8 newsletter. First, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time via the YouTube alerts. You'll get an alert that looks like this for members only. There you go down in the alert. Notice the first line says, let's just stop that right there, L8 membership newsletter. I mean, how can you not miss that? That's the alert from YouTube. You go down the alert, <laughs> past the guy in the surfboard, and then it says new LA post. Click view post. Click view post. There it is. Under his surfboard, click the button, and there you go. You go right into the newsletter, and you are ready to rock and roll. And you are done, baby. That's the newsletter right there. Are you excited? I'm very excited. And I think that should really help a lot of people. Get that for so much check in every USA. Become a member right today. Go right there and do it right now. Let's go over some other stories that are breaking news tonight as well. There's a lot of other stories breaking news tonight as well, which are the presence comments about this economy, the comments about gasoline, and where this economy is going from a, from a fundamental economic standpoint. Let me recap where this economy is going. And remember, if you knew this channel, I've been getting this economy really well, very correct, correctly for a long time. Elite was the first channel to report that this U.S. economy was going to have 
8% inflation and announced that on air in February of 2021 when Walsh and the Federal Reserve was going to say 2%, was saying 2% and temporary or transitory. I said, no, it's going to be 8% and consistent month after month, systemic. Well, guess what? We're in the month of July. It's still over 8%. I got it right. They got it really wrong. Then in uh, February of this year, I said, we're going into recession. I said the recession is next year. Well, we are already in a recession as we've now posted two negative quarters of GDP growth. Number three, I said that unemployment is getting out of control. I said it's going to go from 200 to 230. It did. I said 230 again. It went to 235. I said Wall Street's going to get spooked when it goes to 240. Here we are. Tonight is at 245, 244. So this is where it's important to tune into. LA is expanding from one to three channels. Have you subscribed to the new LA2 and the new LA3? LA2 will give you stimulus 24 hours a day, seven days a week with live programming about stimulus. So you get big sums of money. It'll also give you the greatest humor that you've enjoyed back on this channel with new shows and new seasons of your favorite shows. With Sir Loin, Javita Late, and Blaine 666 back. On LA3, we will go over this economy because it's so important for you to know this economy. With 24 hours a day, seven days a week programming there live on air and cooking programming. Now, let me go back to the president's comments in the last 24 hours. The president of the United States yesterday addressed the CPI number. As soon as the consumer price index number was released, the president of the United States issued a series of comments about the CPI. Now, the president doesn't have to issue a statement about the CPI. There's no requirement he does, but he did. And what did he do? He basically said the CPI is a bad number. The CPI doesn't make sense. It's an inaccurate number. Uh, I got to tell you, the consumer price index number is not a partisan number. It's not a partisan number. And it's been part of the landscape of economics for a very long time. The consumer price index number is not a partisan number. What did the president say late yesterday, which was not covered on yesterday's broadcast, that the CPI number released yesterday is not accurate because, not accurate because it's a delayed number? Well, it's the June number released in July. <laughs> Every number I have on this channel is a delay number. The labor number is released one month later. The June jobs number are released a month later. Everything is released, you know, it's not live with the exception of Atlanta Fed GDP now. It's ironic because last Friday, when the June jobs number was released in the month of July, the president was doing a victory lap on that number released a month later. Now when the CPI number is released a month later, he says it's not reliable because it's delayed numbers. It's not accurate. It's not, it's not, it's not a, uh, it is false facts. It is false facts. Number two, the president is basically trying to tell you that inflation has come down since the June uh, economy we've endured. Not true. There is no indication that inflation has come down in the month of July. What do we see as parts of inflation that have improved? We have seen some supply disruption improve. And we have seen gasoline prices improve, but that's not enough to ensure that the CPI has gone down. Number three, he's not alone. Analysts today were already trying to say again, after they did it yesterday, that inflation has peaked, that this is the worst that inflation is going to be, and now it's getting back to nor it's coming down dramatically. There's no indication that inflation has peaked. We absolutely have no data whatsoever. Then other analysts are saying this will likely be the last lead high interest rate spike by the Federal Reserve. No. <laughs> Federal Reserve wants to get down to 2% inflation. We're at 8 plus. So they have a long way to go in just about five months. There's no way in as pigs fly or cows go to the casino uh, <laughs> that they are going to just have one interest rate spike. You see what's going on? There's a lot of really inaccurate narratives out there. And as we go back to gasoline, I got to tell you, this is going to be the narrative that the American people are going to continue to roll their eyes when they hear it come from the president. The president's statements on gasoline, Americans know are not true because Americans understand gasoline. They've endured gasoline stories of this economy since the 1970s. They understand how gasoline works. It's a very simple a calculation. If there's a shortage of gasoline, gasoline goes higher. If gasoline goes higher, it's not good for the economy. Everyone understands that. A basic high school schooler understands that. And what the president's trying to tell you in the last 24 hours is that gasoline's down because of what he did, and that gasoline's going to stay down, and that gasoline's now solved. Uh, folks, 
Uh, how truthful is that comment? It's 100% inaccurate. It's 100% inaccurate. There is no indication that gasoline is going to remain low, number one. Number two, there is no indication that anything the White House did got gasoline down. The reason why gasoline down, we know, because the people who are trading gasoline have told us, the gasoline traders, is because they believe there's an inherent risk that they need to embed into the trade that less people drive their cars if we're in a recession. So they believe the supply the, the supply will be too much and the demand will soften. There'll be less demand if we're in a recession. Anything the president did? Well, if he takes credit for the recession, <laughs> then he got inflation down. But no, other than that, you did not get gasoline prices down. There's nothing in the policy that got gasoline prices down. Now, I'm not here to go over what he did or what he didn't do. What I want to go over is for you to understand where this economy is and where it's going. I want you to understand that most analysts believe gasoline is not going to stay down. So if you have a trip to take, <laughs> take the trip now and, and, and take me on your cell phone. So don't miss any recordings. <laughs> take the trip now because gasoline is down now. It's not going to stay down, number one. Number two, there's no indication that inflation has peaked. There's no indication that inflation has peaked. And the same analysis said inflation has peaked now, this week, where the same analysis said that back in February, in March, and April, and May. It's just the same narrative. Number three, the, the notion that labor is strong is perhaps one of the comments that I'm strongest against. Labor is not strong when there's 244,000 new unemployed people per week. That's new. That means there's a quarter million new unemployed people this week that were not employed, unemployed last week. That means every month you're adding 1 million new unemployed people. It's just not a good look. It's not a good number. It was 200,000 when this channel launched in March of 2020, right when we were going to the pandemic, it shot up to 1 million. The number can move fast. The number can move really fast for the high end. It doesn't drop as fast to the low end. And what I'm worried about deeply is the corporate earnings. The corporate earnings will give you guidance on how this economy is. A lot of you sometimes may think corporate earnings don't, confirm, don't concern you, but they do concern you. If the corporate earnings are really bad, they're going to start laying people off. And they start laying people off, even if you don't have a job, even if you're a retiree, it impacts you negatively. You don't want to see corporations laying people off, even if you're retired, even if you're a veteran, or you're on SSI or SSDI. You do not want to see layoffs, because it hurts the economy negatively. And when we start the day, when the numbers from J.P. Morgan Chase and and uh, and two other banks reporting later this week, signaling that they're in an earnings recession, that they're clearly in an earnings recession, and their stocks are now at a 52-week low, and they're missing by 30% compared to year-to-date their earnings. Their earnings are down 30%. That, my friends, is very scary. And that will send everyone else into recession. Now, how about that Build Back Better Act? That Build Back Better Act is going to get done, and it's great, and it's a lot of money, huge sums of money. But is it going to get to you in time? No, it's not going to get to you in time. What is in time? In my opinion, it's September. You need to get the money before September. The Build Back Better Act is huge sums of money, fifteen to eighty thousand dollars. Let's go briefly over those incredible checks. The fifteen eighty thousand dollars of, of the Build Back Better Act includes twenty five thousand dollars for the purchase of your first home, two hundred fifty billion dollars of free home health care for seniors and people on disabilities, and potentially about six thousand dollars of MSCs. That's if the Build Back Better Act is bigger. If it's not, it doesn't have room in there. Then those individual clusters, the third cluster, dental, vision, hearing, lowering the eligibility, age, and Medicare, and vision, that's potentially likely to survive. Nothing in the second cluster is likely to survive because it's been taken out. Home repairs is now check A in the, bill, in the, in the newsletter, and paid leave has been removed. First cluster is great. It's all, all in there. Earning income tax credit still in there for my essential workers, $4,000 of elder care, $4,000 of care for young children, nutrition, vehicles, and more. The vote on this Build Back Better Act will give you a lot of money, approximately fifteen dollars to $80,000. But remember, the Build Back Better Act required an effort. That effort was for you to do something to get these fifteen dollars to $80,000. You always had to do an effort. So that's what this channel is built upon, pushing advocating, doing something. So do yourself a favor. Go right on this video right now and become a member. Watch all the videos throughout the day and know where this economy is and where it's going because guess what? There's a lot of money at issue. 
The money at issue is the four stimulus checks in every U.S. state right now. Those incredible four stimulus checks in every U.S. state, you can get those big sums of money right now. Then the raise of your benefits across the board based upon that CPI number. That's why you have to watch this channel for inflation. And then thereafter, of course, the Build Back Better Act. Programming continues throughout the night on this channel. Don't miss any of the programming with Evenings L8 every night at 5 o'clock. Evenings Countdown at 6. Stream Simulus at 7. 8 o'clock is extra. 9 o'clock is sunset. And don't forget to jump on over or jump onto the video and subscribe to the brand new LA2 and LA3 launching within just days. I told you it was 90 days out. It's launching sooner than expected. So stay with me throughout the night. Remember, become a member. You deserve this. You deserve this money. This money's for you. And get this financial freedom. Get this money right now. Get that LA newsletter. Get this financial freedom. You deserve it. Get yourself in a great situation by getting this money. And don't wait. Get the money while it's here. Become a member. Go under this video. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP member. Join in the channel. And stay throughout the night and throughout the morning, tomorrow morning, as... Ally continues. <laughs>